Hey guys, welcome back to Bramble. Today we are making a total staple. This is a classic sauce that you can serve with so many dishes. I'm talking about a delicious spinach and basil pesto. And what's great about this pesto is that it's oil-free and of course it's dairy-free because we're making everything vegan here. But this is a recipe that you've probably already seen in some of our other videos that include pesto sauces, but you always ask us to give you just the quick version for whenever you wanna whip up a quick sauce for any dish you might be making. So here it is, let's get started. To make our pesto, we need the help of a food processor. Now the first ingredient we're going to add is that nut base. Now traditionally pesto is made with pine nuts, but pine nuts can be expensive. And I wanna show you that you can make the same sauce with almonds. You can use also walnuts, you can use macadamia nuts, cashews, anything you have on hand. Or if you love pine nuts, go ahead and use that. And we're gonna add our garlic. I have a big, big garlic clove in here. And we're just gonna pulse this until those are nicely, nicely ground. Next, we're gonna add a bunch of basil. Now just tear it with your fingers. Um, it's okay if you get a little stem in there, but just leave these big chunky stems out. I love adding a big, big handful of spinach. It really adds to that beautiful green color and I find that it actually helps prevent it from going brown too quickly. So this is gonna be a really bold green, beautiful. Now we're gonna add our avocado, half an avocado. You know this is my trick to keeping pesto completely oil free. Now avocados have natural oils, but they also have amazing nutrients and lots of good stuff. Let's just pop that in there. And we are going to add the juice of half of a lemon. And we're gonna taste and adjust. We might need to add a little bit more. And of course, we need to season. We need some sea salt and pepper. Just add some, and after we've blended, we're gonna taste and adjust. Our last ingredient, just to help this run, is to add a little bit of water. Keep some water nearby and just add it slowly, and we'll see how much we need. Just wanna get it nice and creamy. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, that's so good, it's perfect. Really taste of that basil and the lemon, delicious. Now remember, if you're using this to make a pasta dish, you can add, instead of just regular water, some of that pasta cooking water that is nice and warm and it's gonna warm it up right in the food processor. There's really nothing better than pesto for topping any dish. And of course, tossed with pastas, I love to serve it next to wraps or inside a wrap to top baked potatoes or baked sweet potatoes. It's really uh, such a versatile dish. And a great option is to use it in panini. So inside a panini with a little bit of vegan mozzarella, some tomato, some fresh basil, and also the pesto delicious. It's super versatile. I hope you make it at home. Don't forget to show us your pictures and I'll see you again really soon with more at Bramble.